The control panel of the machine gives you access to all of its functions. Through the use of a five position switch, you can load programs, define defaults, move and erase the tape, or run in single step through programs. Programs are written and saved SD cards as simple text files from any computer. Once the card has been inserted into the machine, you can browse its directory and select the program you want to run. As the program is loaded into the computer, it is checked for syntax errors and displayed on the LCD display. Often programs need to operate on a tape that already contains data. Default tapes can be saved as part of a program file. They can also be created and edited from the user console. Once a program has been loaded, it is started from the console. In this example, the machine is running a simple binary counting program. First, the default starting data is written to the tape. After the default tape is written, the tape is returned to the first tape position and control is turned over to the Turing transition rules that were loaded from the SD card. While the Turing machine program is running, the three LED displays on the console show the current machine state, the tape position, and a running count of the number of operations completed so far. Each loop of the Turing program reads the current cell from the tape and uses the transition rules to determine if that cell of the tape needs changed. If it does, the cell is erased and written with the new character. It then changes the state of the machine if needed, and the loop starts again. In this simple binary counting program, the binary number is incremented each time the tape makes a full transition from the least significant bit to the most significant bit and back again. In this example, the machine is counting from 11 to 16. Because it takes 50 operations to do this, I have sped up the video to save time. When the machine reaches a halt state as defined in the transition tables, the Turing program exits from its loop and control is returned to the console. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it.